Okay, so welcome back to my channel. So we are going to learn on subtopic 2.5, okay, a compensation point, continuation from photosynthesis um, in the previous subtopic 2.4. If you haven't seen that, go and see that and then come back here. Okay, so as usual, we are going to do this like really quickly. It's a very short subtopic, okay, and yeah, take notes, don't forget. Okay, now the learning standard as usual we have to go through them so you know what you're going to learn do not skip this because it always gives you back come back okay what am i going to learn in this topic so you don't learn too much or you don't learn too less okay so now here you must be able to describe what is compensation point okay and then compare and contrast photosynthesis and also cellular respiration in plants Okay, analyze the light intensity and the attainment of compensation point using graph and predict the effect of photosynthesis and the rate of cellular respiration remain at its compensation point. So you just have to predict, analyze, compare, contrast, describe. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, now respiration and photosynthesis, they are interdependent. Okay, photosynthesis produces raw materials, okay, required by respiration. And respiration, the other way around, produces materials required by uh, photosynthesis. At night, photosynthesis does not take place. Okay, only respiration takes place. So, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, right? But at low light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis is actually equal to the rate of respiration. So here the gases exchange between the atmosphere and the leaf do not take place. But at high light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis is higher than the rate of respiration. Carbon dioxide is taken in from atmosphere and oxygen is released into the atmosphere. So eventually, a point is reached where all the carbon dioxide produced during respiration is used up for photosynthesis. Now at this point, the exchange of gases is at equilibrium, okay, which is known as a compensation point. So a compensation point is actually the light intensity at which net gases exchange is zero. Okay, got it? Okay, at low light intensity, photosynthesis uses up carbon dioxide produced during respiration. Okay, and it releases oxygen needed for respiration. Now, as the light intensity increases during the day, the rate of photosynthesis also increases. All right. So eventually, a point is reached at which all carbon dioxide it produced during respiration is used in photosynthesis. All of it. Now, at this point, there is no um, net gain or net loss in carbon dioxide uh, by the plants. So there's no net gain or net loss also in the sugar produced. All right. So the plant it's said to reach compensation point okay this is the compensation point now compensation point is the level of light intensity when the uh, when the uh, what is that called a uh, rate of respiration okay when the rate of respiration equals to the rate of photosynthesis okay rate of respiration equals to um, rate of photosynthesis now at higher light intensity okay when the intensity increases Alright, so this uh, rate of photosynthesis becomes faster compared to the rate of respiration. Rate of photosynthesis faster than rate of respiration. Now at this time, carbon dioxide is now insufficient and needs to be absorbed from the atmosphere to compensate the rate of its usage in photosynthesis. Okay, so now excessive oxygen is released into the atmosphere. For growth and uh, reproduction to take place in plants, the rate of photosynthesis must exceed the rate of respiration on a daily basis. So by this, the rate of glucose production will actually exceed the rate of glucose use. Produced glucose products, uh, uh, glucose produced will be more than glucose use. Okay, so where the excess glucose is stored in the form of starch, okay, and uh, it is used for growth and also other vital processes by the plant. So they need this amount, this energy. Okay, so compensation point is when the level of light intensity, okay, is the level of light intensity when the rate of respiration is equal to the rate of photosynthesis. 
So when the light intensity increases after that, after the compensation points, the rate of photosynthesis will be more than the rate of respiration. Okay. Okay, so now you have to differentiate between photosynthesis and respiration in plants. So this is a, 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 you know, a diagram, a table okay, from your textbook which already compare between photosynthesis and also respiration. Now, both process takes place in all living organisms and both involves the uh, uptake and release of gases. Okay, what is the gases is a bit different from uh, photosynthesis and uh, respiration. Now, photosynthesis involves all green plants and the photosynthetic bacteria, bacteria that can carry out photosynthesis. And respiration happens in all organisms. Plants also carry out respiration. And the type of cell involved in photosynthesis is that the cells that contains chlorophyll. No chlorophyll, no photosynthesis. But respiration happens in all the cells, any type of cells. All right, and metabolism. Anabolism for photosynthesis, catabolism for respiration. Anabolism and catabolism, you have seen this in chapter 4, form 4. If you forget, go, in, go through that again. What is anabolism? What is catabolism? So now, anabolism process happens where synthesis of glucose using carbon dioxide and water. Okay, and catabolism in respiration happens where breakdown of glucose to produce energy. Okay, and the site for photosynthesis is chloroplast, whereas the site for respiration is mitochondria because respiration produces energy. And the products, yeah, of course, glucose and energy. Glucose for photosynthesis energy in respiration and the byproducts the other products besides the main products we have oxygen and water in photosynthesis and respiration they produces carbon dioxide and also water okay and the energy involvement uh, for photosynthesis of course the light energy is absorbed from sunlight and is converted into chemical energy but then in respiration chemical energy the glucose whatever that we eat okay is converted to ATP and also heat energy is released. Light requirement, photosynthesis always needs light. Respiration does not need light. Whether it is light, no, respiration can take place. So these are two things that you have to know and differentiate because this kind of question might be asked in essay. Okay, so you can, uh, you know, must know this. Okay, so we are done actually. Alright, so once you are done with this, you have to do formative practice 2.5 as usual. Okay, go through the question, do everything. The answers will be given in the description box below. Okay, check your answers once you are done doing this and let me know if the lesson helps. Okay, with that, we are done with the lesson today. I hope you like my uh, lesson today. <laughs> Although it's a short lesson, um, if you find it... Uh, helpful please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, comment if there is anything that i can improve on thank you bye bye